My name is Matt Rendell. I'm the CEO and co-founder of ClearPath Robotics. ClearPath designs self-driving vehicles. So in a factory or a warehouse, lots of stuff needs to move from one location to another location. We build robots that move packages in a very intelligent manner. So that's, that's Auto. Auto is a self-driving vehicle designed to move pallets in a factory. That system has all of the same intelligence that the Google car has, but built into an industrial form factor. In order to design a self-driving vehicle for, for use in a factory, you really need to consider how humans are gonna interact with that vehicle, right? In, in a busy factory, you've got lots of people doing lots of different jobs. It's a really chaotic environment. You've got fork trucks zipping by one direction. In a lot of ways, it's similar to having a car on the road. And, and so a lot of what we do is considering how to safely and intelligently interact with humans without getting in their way and allowing them to do the job that they need to do while also allowing the robot to do the job that it needs to do. We've got some really interesting technology on board Auto. We've got a laser scanner on both the front and the rear of the vehicle, and that's the primary, that's the primary sensor for, for Auto. Those are its eyes, effectively. And it, it's taking scans, thousands of scans a minute, and building a very detailed understanding of its environment and, and constructing a map. Auto, auto learns its environment, yeah. So um, just like if you, if you are entering into a factory for the first time, you've never been there before, and let's say you showed up to do a job, right? Well, the person who hired you, the first thing that they would probably do is take you on a tour of the factory so that you could get an understanding of all of the key landmarks that are important, but while they're calling out those key landmarks, you're also mapping the environment, right? You know how to get from the break room to the restroom. And so, just like a human would have to in the first time they go into a factory, the first time Auto goes into a factory, you need to take it on a tour. Right? You need to show it where all of the landmarks are. And while it's doing that, it's building a map. So when that laser is spinning around, it's, it's shooting a beam out, measuring how far that is, and doing it around the whole perimeter of the robot. Right? Well, that information comes in as a raw signal in the robot, and then the robot needs to compute it. It needs to do something intelligent with that information. And so this laser scanner is not only used to build a map, but also used to detect people and react to those people, right? So if somebody jumps out in an intersection, Auto needs to be able to respond and stop and make sure that that person is safe. It has many of the same systems that a human has. Uh, you know, the way that I, I like to think about humans are, you know, we're one, of the, we're one of the best examples of an autonomous system, right? We have all of the sensing on board and all of the computing on board to intelligently move from one location to another location. And so Auto has two laser scanners, like we have our two eyes. It has an inertial sensor, which you know we, we kind of know which way is up based on the equilibrium in our ears, and so there's a similar sensor on auto, right? And when we're walking down a corridor, we almost instinctually, intuitively understand how far we travel on one step, right? Well, we also have sensors on the wheels of auto, and those sensors allow us to understand how far auto has traveled based on how much the wheels have turned. Right? And then all of that comes into a very powerful computer, like it all comes into our very powerful brains. Right? And so the algorithms that we build are all around how to take all of the data that's coming in off of the robot in raw form and translate it into an intelligent behavior. So go from point A to point B and don't bump into anything along the way. So if you look at any robot, it has inherent to its design something called a kinematic configuration. And the kinematic configuration is really just a fancy word of saying, like, how does it how does it drive? How does it steer? Right. So this vehicle is called a skid steer system, and the way that you execute a turn is by turning one side forwards and one side in reverse in order to execute the turn. Right. The auto robot is called a differential drive system. So it has two wheels at the center. When you turn forwards on one side and reverse on the other side, you're going to execute a turn but you're gonna rotate in place in a much more clean and controlled manner because you're only turning two wheels along a center axle. 